Kathleen Baker making the jump up to the 200 backstroke. Did you surprise yourself even a little bit with that swim? I think I'm a little surprised by it. I definitely wanted to go 207. That was my goal. So going a 206 low was like definitely blew it out of the water for me. Um, <laughs> I definitely, this is the first time I've really gotten to focus on it since 2014 and I've gotten a lot stronger then and I'm in better shape and things like that and that was actually my first national title ever so I thought that was sort of cool too. <laughs> Olympic medal before a national title. Yeah. <laughs> so you took command right off the bat. Um, was that playing into your race strategy? Yeah, I mean, I sort of am always known for going out pretty hard and just trying to hold on, and I had, like, enough left at the end, so I sort of like just to go out, like, and stay ahead, and hopefully I can hold on to it at the end. How much did, like, the, the I wouldn't say the void in that event, but Maya's retired, Missy's mm -hmm. not here, so how much did that play into, okay, maybe it's time to really focus on this 200 back long course? I definitely think, like, without, like, some of, like, the top three people, um, like not being here definitely opened that event up, especially for someone like Reagan to make it, it getting second. That's pretty awesome, like someone new coming up into it. Um, and I think that really gave me more confidence going in, knowing I really had a shot. And I've been really working on 100 and 200 backstroke this year. And coming off of a great NCAA has yep. really helped as well. So what did you say to Reagan, someone I mean, younger than even you were when you made your first team? Yeah. So what did you say to her being in that situation? I, was, I feel like I was so happy for her. I mean, that's such an incredible thing to be 15 and make it. And I know like you gain so much international experience from just like going to this and this will really set her up in the future to like have more experience and at such a young age really get to take it all in. Any plans to like really help take her under your wing a little bit? Of course I mean I'd love to help anyone really and I'm just really excited to go and I love like all my friends who make it and I'm super excited to see who makes it this week. So how do you feel knowing that that could really set you up for running a medal in that event too? Yeah I think it's pretty incredible I mean this year has been pretty like good for me. I came off the Olympics with a lot of confidence and I trained really hard this year like jumping right back into college swimming I think really helped me to be at my best at this time of the year and I think like it's setting me up super well going into um, Budapest. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, I'm super excited, yeah. I mean, I still have the 50 tomorrow, and I don't really get to swim a 50 that often, and I'm looking forward to getting to do something new, and now the races just get easier as I go, sort of. So, um, <laughs> real quick, how pumped are you for Alyssa there to get fourth in that 50? Oh, so pumped. That's my best friend, and to get fourth on the podium is awesome for her, and she was like, I just don't want to get eighth because I want to stand on the podium. Seventh has to stand on the floor, so I was super happy for her, and to have my teammate Maddie Murphy in it, too, yeah. was really great. Kathleen, congratulations. Thank you. See you in the next couple of days. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Kathleen.